Hey guys, it's Roman Blevins from the Blevins Network. I'm joined today with my regular co-host, Bo, and this new YouTube channel, uh, the Blevins Network, is 98.9's Roman FM's new radio station YouTube channel. Uh, here we're going to play some new videos uh, and related to my dad, Doug Blevins, for kicking uh, sati satire videos, political talk shows, and mainly Roman FM podcasts and radio shows. But today, Bo and I are going to be discussing some controversial issues that some people disagree on. Uh, recently, the governor of uh, what is it, Rhode Island, Lincoln Chafee, is a firm supporter of calling the Christmas tree a holiday tree. He was featured on Bill O'Reilly, who took on the Rhode Island governor, and uh, Chafee made the headlines last year because he, he started the holiday tree, uh, calling it the holiday tree last year, and upsetting a lot of uh, traditional Christmas goers um, who did not like that. Uh, Bo, what is your take on this situation? What do you think? Well, I mean, like, I think it's, a, I think it's just like, sim I think to me it's like, I, it's like similar to when people call the Sears Tower the Willis Tower. It's like, no, we want, we want it to be called the Sears Tower. We don't care that it's officially named the Willis Tower. We're still going to refer to it as the Sears Tower. I think, yeah. the, I think the same can be said here. I mean, like, you know, to, you know, all your, all my life and, and your life and basically almost everyone's life, like we've been referring to the tree, that an evergreen tree around the holiday season yeah. as a Christmas tree, and now it's for now to say it's a holiday tree. It's like, well, first off, why are you referring to it as a holiday tree? You know, it's a Christmas tree because it's referring to the Christmas holiday. It's not referring to Hanukkah. It's not referring to you know Kwanzaa. It's referring to Christmas. So why call it the holiday tree when it's when Kwanzaa doesn't yeah. use a tree or Hanukkah doesn't use a tree, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. You have it correct. I mean, um, sh should it be our right to call the menorah the uh, holiday candlestick? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I mean, I, let's call it, let's call it, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, or, you know, it, and, and for the atheists who, for example, uh, not about a week ago, uh, the atheists of Santa Monica, I believe it is Santa Monica, Santa Monica California, uh, there was a nativity scene up in a park where they complained to the city council about it and they wanted it removed. Here's my take on it. First of all, that infringes on the First Amendment rights. And second of all, the court system actually listened to the atheists and took them in favor and, and told the nativity scene... Uh, the people who are operating it to take it down, and it's been a tradition over there for I think what uh, fifty plus years. Uh, but my take in the, is on this: if you atheists out there are so keen and up to date and 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 want to be involved in politics and how this country operates, and you you want to inflict your views upon people, uh, it doesn't make sense because if you guys are atheists and you don't believe in something, why are you gonna get mad over it? It's like okay, uh, for example, if a group of people. Uh, like they have they have a nativity scene in the park and it shows the baby Jesus and the Virgin Mary and uh, and it has you know the traditional t nativity set and a bunch of atheists walk by and say oh that offends me I don't like that well, it doesn't make sense because they don't believe anything and the atheists don't believe in anything so how can they get mad over what they don't believe and you know there's no logic in that you know I had respect for uh, some atheists who had really good points, but then when they start going to extremes like this, they just become really stupid, and it's not even it's not even worth listening to them. But, I mean, like, yeah. I just I think that's a negative reaction to it. Like, well, it is a negative reaction to it. It's not an if it is. Yeah. But I mean, like, the way they reacted to it, I think was wrong. I mean, like, if I was the atheist, I would just say to the city council, "Hey, you know, you've had this thing here for a number of years." And what we want is we don't want you to take this down, but instead you should put a giant A like somewhere by that area and put Christmas lights around it. <laughs> that's what I would say. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, that's like expressing my views. If hey, you know, if I if I was an atheist, um, I don't consider myself an atheist, but like if I was, I, if I was living in that area now, if I, I was an atheist, I would um, say hey, you know, like since you know this has been happening for a number of years, I get it, but you know. We want to have ourselves represented as well, so let's have a giant A with Christmas lights around it, and yeah. voila. Yeah. Because atheists celebrate Christmas. It's just they celebrate it differently. You know, they, they yeah. you know, 
they celebrate in the more, you know, I guess, American way. Or, <laughs> but, I mean, like, you said this thing's been up there for 50 years, so why of all, why 50 years, after 50 years, should it be taken down now? Absolutely, I, yes. Like, there's no logic in that. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I just feel as though, like, the problem here is, like, atheists for a number of years have been persecuted because they're the minority uh-huh. and Christians are the majority. But now... And I and I, I knew this was going to happen. Like when the when the atheists become the majority, you know, Christians are going to become persecuted. Like or like the minorities always become persecuted. It's always has happened. The majority always persecutes the minorities, and you know, what like and there's actually one atheist who have I who I watched videos of. He's he's told fellow atheists, you know, if that does happen, you know, let's not do that. But, like, apparently some atheists just ignore that. Like, they forget at one point, you know, they forget, you know, history. Or, like, they forget this whole idea that, hey, you know, yeah. why, should we, why should we be, like, you know, criticizing others, you know, ways of lives or beliefs, you know, when that was us at one point. You know, we've been through that, but that doesn't mean we should take it on other people, you know. We should all just try to get along, you know. Yeah. I wish we would just try to, like, learn to figure that out yeah. for once. As we wrap this segment up on uh, the Roman FM... Uh, good points you made there, Bo. Absolutely. Uh, here's my take on it before we wrap up this segment. Uh, yes, I believe that. I believe that we should still call it a Christmas tree because that's what it is. That's that's what it is. It's, it's that's how I it feel is. about it too. I mean, yeah, like that's what it is. No. Don't change the name of it. And uh, for the nativity scene, leave that alone. If you don't if you don't believe in it, if you don't ag- agree with it, you don't have to like it. All right, but don't infringe on someone's uh, First Amendment rights to express their religion publicly because there's, Christianity is not the only religion that is. Um, out there in the United States, we still we have uh, we have Jewish holiday uh, uh, y- you know decorations out there. We have menorahs out in public, and uh, we have have good really good Jewish friends and all, and, and uh, you know Kwanzas out there too. Everything's out there. You just don't attack attack uh, Christmas because you think it offends somebody, because then you'd have to attack every single religion and say that offends everybody because of that. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to this small and short radio broadcast on Roman FM. Bo and I will be making some more shows. And keep tuned, comment, subscribe, and help our new channel grow. Thank you, Bo. Thank you, Roman. Alrighty.